spoilers. You either love them or you hate them. Now I'm kind of in the middle of that. I hate them, but if I see one, I will read one. So I've come across a few spoilers today that that have freaked me out. I don't like spoilers and it's just stopping now and not watching because there's a few spoilers in this that you might want to hear and that's grand. Like I said, I have like a love-hate relationship with spoilers. I hate them, but if I see one, I'm gonna read it and then I'm gonna suck about the fact that I've read it and obsess over what I read. So if you don't want to know any spoilers, stop watching. So I made a video a few weeks back saying that Beth could return, you know, trying to speculate how she'd come into it or whatever. Today it was released online that Emily Kinney, who plays Beth, is listed as a character for the season finale of season six. Now this had me kind of thinking, oh, maybe Maggie dies, I mean, she's pregnant, there's all the drama going on with her at the moment, maybe Maggie dies and Beth comes for her. Then I scrolled down and I saw that Merle was also listed as the character for the finale. There's only one character I could think of that connects those two, and that would be Daryl. Now I've said before again that I think that Daryl is very likely to die, they could kill him off, but I never kind of believed it or thought about it until I saw the cast listing today. There's so much speculation and theories going around about the final episode that I thought I'd kind of put a few of them together and see what happens. So I think there was leaked footage or there was leaked something and everyone's talking about the scene with Carol in the finale. So the story goes that Morgan's riding around in a horse looking for Carol and then we see Carol and she's hurt, she's weak. I think she's she has some kind of wound but it's not clear whether it's a walker wound or like a cut. And then I've seen like serious speculation that Carol is going to die in the finale but they're gonna give her the death that she had in the comics. The death she had in the comics where she killed herself, she let a tied up walker bite her. I don't see how they're gonna work that into the story or how that will play out if it's even true. Like I said, it's all just speculation, it's things I've read online. Now if Carol died, I reckon Daryl could go a bit mental, he could go a bit mad. I mean season two when he got shot with the arrow, he hallucinated that Merle was there. So in the finale, if Carol died, I could see Daryl kind of going dark side. Maybe Beth and Merle like appeared to him to try and calm him down or talk to him or something. And then there's the more popular theory that Daryl is actually going to die. When Therese died, we saw that he kind of he kind of hallucinated that Beth was in the room with him singing him a song. That Izzy and Mika, the two little girls, were there. The governor was in the room with him as well. And he saw all these people just before he died. So it is possible that something like that could happen in the finale. If that episode with Tyrese hadn't happened, it would seem a bit ridiculous for somebody to kind of vision someone up, but it has happened on the show before. That's the only kind of explanation that I could come up with as to why the two of them would be back in the finale, because they died like seasons ago. Plus, I've said in a few comments as well that um, Daryl hasn't actually had much like development over this season. I mean, I love him. I think he's the fucking best character on the show. But if you compare him to season one, he has changed so much, but he hasn't really done much in this season. Maybe they kind of had his character going to a lull because they're going to have loads of crazy shit happening in the next few episodes. I just have the worst feeling that something's going to happen and something bad's going to happen. Michael Rucker was spotted in Atlanta around the time that they were supposed to be shooting this ages ago. So there was kind of theories online that he could be in the finale, but it only actually came out today that he's listed as a character. Now IMBD put it up and I don't know how like reliable they are, but seeing those two characters listed for the finale, when well, you know something bad's gonna happen, Megan's gonna come in with fucking Lucille, it has me shitting bricks. Then I've seen other theories that Glenn's gonna be given the death he was supposed to get in the comics or whatever, but that doesn't explain why Beth and Merle would be in the episode. There could be more than one death in the season finale. I mean, that's something that I said I could see happening anyway, because they wanna make it big, they wanna make it dramatic, they want it to be So killing two characters wouldn't be as predictable as just killing one, because if one person gets the Lucille death, everyone will go, oh, it's okay now. You know, so-and-so has died, it's okay. But then I reckon they could throw in a curveball and have someone else die. I've read a few spoilers for tonight's episode as well. Apparently, Denise, who is Tara's girlfriend, apparently she gets the death that Abraham got in the comics, so she gets an arrow through the eyeball, because Dwight is coming into tonight's episode, if you didn't already know. And it's usually around this time in the season anyway, the kind of smaller characters will get killed off. Like, Tyrese got killed off around this time in a previous season. Again, everybody has favourites to die in, you know, who do you think it's going to be? But the fact that Emily Kinney and Michael Rooker are confirmed for being in that episode, it's not a good sign. Now again, it could just be a fucking massive curveball to throw everyone off, and... Like I said, I don't know if there's any fucking truth to it, I mean, it's IMBD. But if it is true, and if they are both in it, then there's only one reason why they're there. It's not for Rick, or for Carol. 
And everyone knows as well that Norman got his show right at Norman Reedus. He's filming that at the moment. And that show is going to be aired on AMC. So maybe they kind of gave him that show as like to soften the blow for killing him. I don't know. But last week when we saw Tara tell Denise that she loved her. And Denise was all, I'll tell you when you get back. I mean, I fucking said that, that she mightn't come back. So shit could happen. I've read anyway that Denise dies tonight and she gets Abraham's death. I think Abraham is actually listed for a character in the finale as well. So as far as I know, from what I've read, he lives on to the finale. So that's all that I have to say really. I wasn't planning on making a video, but I read this little bit of information and I was like, oh fuck. So I wanna hear what you guys have to say. Obviously, if you're still watching at this point, you've watched the video and you don't mind spoilers. So if you've read any interesting ones, drop a comment below and let me know. Please don't let Dara die.